Thanks for joining me. This video topic is going to be about sharing and viewing Google Calendars. We're going to talk about sharing your personal calendar, viewing other people's personal calendar if they've shared, how to create a shared calendar, how to import and export events to those calendars, and then we'll show you how to delete calendars. So let's get started. You can choose whether to share your calendar publicly or only with your organization in G Suite. Click the settings gear at the top right corner of your calendar and choose settings. On the left, choose your calendar. Then, choose access permissions. Select how you want to share your personal calendar. If you want your calendar to be available publicly on the web, check the Make Available to Public box. If you want your calendar to only be available to your organization, check the Make Available for My Organization box here. Next to each sharing permission, click the down arrow and choose whether you want to share your free and busy times. These are options such as hiding the details of your appointment, seeing those details, being able to make changes to your events, and being able to share your calendar out to others. Let someone see your calendar in any web browser. You can get an HTML link to your calendar so that you can share it with other people. Just click the copy link and this will copy it to your system clipboard. Now just paste it in an email. When you share your calendar with someone, you can decide how they see your events and whether they can also make changes, such as adding or editing events in your calendar. In your settings on the left hand side, you choose your calendar and then click the share with specific people. You would then click add people and enter the email address or names of the people you want to share your calendar with. Here you can see I've added my email as a share with specific people. And just like access permissions with making the calendar public or uh, sharing within the organization, you can make specific access restrictions on each individual that you share with. Just click the drop down next to each email address. Wondering if somebody is available to meet? Add a team member's calendar so you can instantly check their schedule. On the left, click Add a Coworker's Calendar and start entering the person's name or email address. Select the person from the list. If the person sets up their calendar for sharing, it appears in your list of calendars. That person's events also appear on your calendar. If the person doesn't have Google Calendar or they haven't set up their sharing permission, you can request access to see their calendar. You can add your note here and then choose the request access link. When Bailey requested access, I can give a certain level of permission to see those appointments. Here, I'll let them see my free, busy information only. Quickly schedule events by checking your coworker's availability. To view a coworker's calendar next to yours, check the box next to their name. And to view several coworkers at a time, make sure the boxes are checked next to their names too. At the top right in the view switcher box, click date.
The calendars appear next to each other, so you can easily see when everyone's free at the same time. To view only your calendar, hover over your name and click the More menu. Then choose Display This Only. With Google Calendars, you can create a shared calendar to track group activities such as project schedules or coworker vacations. In this part, we're going to create a team calendar. On the left, next to Add a Coworker's Calendar, click Add or the plus sign and then choose New Calendar. Now give your calendar a name and add a description. Check the time zone and then click Create Calendar. Your new calendar appears under the My Calendar section. Each calendar you create will have its own preferences and you can check those settings here. You can create as many calendars as you want using the same process. You can change the color of your shared calendar for the display in your calendar only. Just choose the More menu next to the calendar name and select the label color. You can also get back to the settings from here as well. Just like with your personal calendar, you can set up your access permissions and share with specific people. You can also import event information to your calendars or export your calendars out of Google Calendar. On the left in your calendar settings, you'll see import and export. Just locate the ICS file from your computer. Then choose which calendar you want to upload those events to. And then click import. You can export all of your calendars here. A zip file is downloaded to your computer. If you open the zip file, you'll see individual ICS files for each of your calendars. To import the files back into Calendar, just take the individual ICS files out of the zip file and import them one at a time. If you're the owner of the calendar, you can delete it from your settings. Just choose the calendar that you want to delete and then choose Remove Calendar. Then in the Remove Calendar section, you can click to unsubscribe if you want to unsubscribe from the calendars that are read-only, or delete if they're calendars that you own. Next, you'll choose to permanently delete the calendar. Thanks again for watching this video. This concludes our tutorial. Check back every Tuesday and subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful and be sure to share the video out to friends, family, or co-workers that also might find it helpful. Show the algorithms that this video is useful. Give it your thumbs up. Thanks for watching.